on the banks of the Mississippi River, home to the king of rock and roll and also the Memphis Tigers, where the fans have moved. They'll leave it with him. Keeps the legs moving. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or game tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, have <laughs> fun with that. The sure hands. It's Io Manor. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure it to first down. New set of downs after that completion. How nice is it in this offense to have your best receiver playing in the slot? You're matching him up against linebackers, against... He's off to the races. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Love the individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch, making people miss, showing you the speed. Now we set up his offense down in the red zone. Memphis getting set to snap it on first and ten. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. The throw to the outside is complete. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He'll do it himself. Gets it into the end zone, but there's a flag down. We'll see if this one is coming back. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. And the Tigers moving quickly to the line. From the gun, running back on the move. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. This would likely be a chip shot for the field goal kicker, but they want the touchdown instead. They'll go for it on fourth down. And he'll race it to the house. Movement on the offensive line. That's going to be a false start, and they'll walk it back. False start. start offense. Offense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. He'll keep it himself. Snowed under by the defense. Win with the running game on first down. Now back at it. to throw on second down. He's moving out of the pocket. Pass on the way. It's picked off. No way. And they'll drag him down. After Use the play fake. Now to throw. Lost one deep down the right side. And that one falls incomplete. They tried to go over the top on first down. Second down coming up. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking to pass on second down. They're bringing heat. Stands in and takes the hit. And the DB right with him to knock it away. And man, I tell you what, I just love his instincts. You can tell when the ball's being passed, he sees it and he breaks on the football. That's why he's in the top 10 in interceptions this season. Just such a great feel in the passing game. And you've got to be careful when you attack him. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. On the run, fires downfield. 
How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. He wants it all. And makes the grab in the end zone. Coming out on first down with the play fake. The freshman trying to take a shot, but put just a little too much on it. Now on second down after the incompletion. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. Fires to the wideout. Got him downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. From the 33, it's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Down to the 12-yard line. It's first down. He's looking to throw it. Extending the play. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Getting some heat. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. He wants to throw it again. And he can't quite make the connection as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. Tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock him up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up for it. They're throwing for it on fourth down. And the fourth down pass... Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Swings it out to the flat. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Pressure coming. And this looks disastrous. Oh, down he goes. A huge loss on that play. That's the last thing you want as an offense, a negative play, a sack on first down. The throw with the catch, it's Banks. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. He'll throw one to his right. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Memphis will be forced to punt. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. He'll call for the fair catch here. the play fake on first down wants to throw he hurls one deep down the left side grabs it inside the 10 they make the stop but there is a flag on the field we'll see what that's all about The offense didn't need to accept the penalty thanks to that big play. And this, my friend, is what you call advantageous field position. Starting the drive with a first and goal. They're trying to get to it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. On second down, looking again to throw. 
Moves around to clear up the vision. Got rid of it just in time. He just threw that one away. Nobody was getting open. He had to live to fight another play in the red zone. It'll be third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. And it's picked off at the goal line. That's a way to make a stand. He'll try to take it back. Just an outstanding return. Trying to find his man on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Banks. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short. Yeah, at this point on offense, it's all about finding completions and finding your rhythm. They get a few yards there with the slant. Let's see what they've got on second down. Quick strike complete. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. And offenses nowadays, they're really just counting numbers. How many guys do you have out wide? How many guys do I have out wide? If I have enough guys to block your guys, boom, it's just built into the offense. Pitch, catch, let me get a few yards. Drag down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. The Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? This defense is heating up. They got an interception in the last possession. You could tell breaking on the football really, really well. Seeing where the quarterback's throwing it, going to try to get it. Got another hand on it. Almost had another interception. Well, the offensive line had everybody blocked except the defensive end. He was able to sneak into the backfield and get the tackle for that. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. Pass ball's incomplete, and there are still three seconds left. Well, the receiver was double covered on that play, and I don't know if the decision by the QB had to do with the pressure. Because he was hurried, he just had to get rid of that faster than he wanted to. He's lucky he didn't come away with an interception. The ball pops out. And this one will find its way out of bounds, and we have found our way to the end of the first half. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass and it never had a chance. Here they come to try it again on second and 10 from the 29. Got his man quickly. They could have used a little bit more there. Picked up at three, it's third and seven. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Unleashes one. Got a wide open receiver. Running toward the tape. And he eluded the defense. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. He'll fire to his right. He's got it downfield for a huge game. It's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. Working that left side. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Line gets set, first down. Part of the backfield, it's Banks. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there, and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Offense in a bunch formation. He's back to throw on second down. Finds his man down the middle. 
at the 35, he's open. And this defense is a half a beat behind. They just can't quite keep up. They've got it down to the 21. An explosive play takes them right outside the red zone, and they've got it first and 10. Snagged in the middle. It's Iowa Matter. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. On second down, they'll take to the air. Pocket starts to collapse. The ball's free. Oh, the offense averts absolute disaster by falling on that fumble. Memphis heads to the line with a first and goal. Barrels ahead. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. After getting knocked back, it's second and goal from the four. Tries again to get it in. And he was fortunate to get that one back to the line of scrimmage at the five. No gain on the play. Third and goal is where offensive coordinators earn their keep. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires into the end zone. Touchdown, Tiger! That's caught. It's Banks. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. Memphis wants to move quickly. On second down, he'll let it fly. Moving out of the pocket. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Right midfield, he's got room. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. This offense is like running a perfection drill in practice against air. Chunk play after chunk play. And, here's... and the defense gets to the quarterback. This defense, they are tenacious. And they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and then can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Now facing a third and long. They'll go to the air. He's got the tight end. Really strong job by the defense. A negative play on third down. I think moving forward on third down, this offense is going to have to be a little bit more aggressive and try to throw it vertically. They start throwing the ball around the line of scrimmage again. Fires one high and deep. Incomplete on four. Going up top on first down. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Another sack by this defense, but how about this QB? He continues to get back up every single time, still leading his team, still staying positive, still putting them in a good position to win this football game. This is a third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. And trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. Memphis will send the punt team onto the field. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Fair catch. Call for it. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Waltz one high and deep. And it falls incomplete, and the offense is lucky to have it. Defender right there almost had it in his grasp. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Unloads it downfield. It's complete. A huge pickup. Touchdown, Memphis.
The give to the running back from the shotgun. And after they get him on the ground, that's going to do it. When you hit this point in the season, week seven, you sort of turn the corner and you remain unbeaten at this point. You've morphed into a championship contender. Yes, but you don't want to peek too far ahead, Reese. You kind of want to be like, eh, nothing to see here. Just move on. Uh, we haven't accomplished what we wanted yet. We haven't accomplished what we set out to do. It's week seven. I know you guys got bigger hopes and bigger dreams than just being to week seven and being undefeated. And guys, I've been really impressed with this team because they just seemed to always have an identity. From the very beginning of the year, they knew who they were. They knew what they were going to go out and try to accomplish and how they wanted to dominate teams. And they've been able to do that to this point. So, David, to your point, just keep getting better every single week moving ahead. And this team could be in the college football playoff discussion. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.